Uh, ladies and gents, today slightly different. I'm going to be showing you the VDI numbers and tones on the Nocta Legend um, in Multi 2 for things not to dig. So hopefully it brings you some information and uh, we'll get right to it. So I'm looking for the bad stuff, not the good stuff today, which is unusual for me, but there you go. Right, I'll see you on the first tile. I'll let you know about more about my settings. Thank you. Right, ladies and gents, uh, we're in field mode, uh, multi two, you can see on there. Um, I've ground balanced, I've uh, frequency shifted, and uh, I'm in sensitivity 22. I've got overhead cables here. I'm not experiencing anything different in terms of it, um, interference, as you can see. There's a bit of interference still. Um, uh, uh, there's no, no better on this. Uh, Legend that it is on the Equinox. Ladies and gents, got another signal here. Irony, it's only hitting 12, but it's loud. So I'll dig it and come back to you. Ladies and gents, 12. And it was a bit of foil. That's just really for you guys to understand uh, the tone for foil and the numbers for foil on the legend. I'm going to vary the um, recovery speed today between 5 and 8. At the moment, I'm in 5. Right, ladies and gents. Next target is a 16. Sort of a medium tone. So I'm going to dig that, come back to you. Ladies and gents, that 16 was just a, this little bit of aluminium. So, just picking out, the good thing is picking out these little bits, so uh, you should pick up the little bits of good stuff as well. So, anyway, so a medium-ish tone, quite loud, 16 in multi-2. Right, ladies and gents, got a 22 here. Got a bit of a sweet spot on it, but also it's actually come up to 31. It's actually sounding a bit dodgy as well. It's got a nice tone, and then something's obscuring it. So let's see what that is. Right, I told you there's a bit of a sweet spot to it. It's quite deep. 23 on the legend and it's a shotgun shell they always sound good they do so uh, that's why I had a bit of a sweet spot to it on the, on the tone anyway carry on ladies and gents got a signal here sounds like l large iron to me let's just have a listen oh, let me turn my earphones off Ladies and gents, I was right, large iron. So at least you know what to look out for, what sounds to hear for large iron. That's what this video is about, just uh, giving you the tones and the signals on the legend in the multi two frequency. All right, let's carry on. Right, ladies and gents, we've got another signal. Let's see what this is, so let's let you hear it. All right, listen carefully, ladies and gents. Six. All right. Got a mid-range tone. I'll dig it and come back to you. Let's hope it's good. Ladies and gents, again, not very good. It's kind of some kind of modern stud. Sounded good, but unfortunately, another bit of junk. Let's carry on. Right, ladies and gents, this signal I know it's going to be junk. But it's important you know what the tone is, so. So, listen carefully. You can hear that iron, but also a two way signal. Would you dig it? 
I'm going to dig it just to prove to you that it's going to be junk. <laughs> but that's what you listen out for. Let's see if you'd walk over it, depending on what it is. Right, those jets, there you go. That's what it was, a bit of foil. Coming up very irony, but also giving you a good two-way signal. So listen out for those tones, decide whether you're gonna walk over them. Right, ladies and gents, I've got a 22, I think. Just down here, here we go. No. I think it's going to be junk again. But it's for your info. So let's see what it is. So that you can put it to your memory bank and decide when you're out there whether you're going to dig them. Come up with a 23, 22. There you go. Another shotgun shell, ladies and gents. Hopefully that's giving you the tone and the VDI number to perhaps walk over a few of these. I mean, that was iffy enough to uh, be quite suspicious, so you make your own mind up. Right, ladies and gents, another signal. And I think it's about a 23. So we're going to dig it. We'll let you hear it. So here we go. Just get my gloves on. Always wear your gloves. <laughs> Right. right. I'd dig that all day long, but I can hear grunts coming through. Come up with a 20 actually. Hear the short, sharp grunts as well. So I'll come back to you on that one. Right, for the first time today, I've got a little tiny bullet, little tiny lead shot, if you like. So there you go. That was grunting, so again, would you dig that one? It's in the video for you to see and make your own mind up. On to the next. Right, I've got a nice crisp 19 tone here. Let's have a listen in. Solid 19. Not sure what that'll be, actually. I'll come back to you on that one, but that's a nice crisp tone, that one. Right, ladies and gents. Listen in. Solid 15. Not moving. Tone sounds pretty good. There's the odd grunt I can hear in the earphones, but I'm not sure if you're picking that up. So let's see what that is, and I'll come back to you. Go on, ladies and gents. Be honest. Would you have dug that one at a 15 on the VDI? Solid tone. I think maybe you would. Let me know in the comments. Right, right ladies and gents, I've got a 19. Sounded pretty good to me. Listen. There it is. It's a little bit dodgy now, but when you hit it properly, it's good 19. I'll come back to you on that one. And gents, that was another lead shot. 15. Gotta admit, I thought it might be, but didn't want to give the game away. Would you have dug it? Put it in the comments. Right, ladies and gents, target here. Get it in there for 13, 14. Just listen to it. Bit of a medium lower tone. It's 
slow tow. <laughs> right, I'll dig that and come back to you. There you go, ladies and gents. That's all it was. Another bit of foil that conducts the uh, the testing. Uh, what do you think? I mean, in the comments, just have your opinions. I tried to find uh, show you uh, an array of junky finds and the towns and the VDI numbers all live. Um, so yeah, just uh, let me know what you think of this uh, legend performance with uh, in and around the tin foil, the iron, and the shotgun shells, uh, the little bullets, everything. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's not what I normally bring you, but I think it was uh, useful. Till the next one, see you later.